Okay, the push button assembly is the, uh, this is the part you see on the front of the backsplash. Behind the backsplash you have the push button diaphragm. This is connected to the valve using this small little compression nut. It has a built-in compression sleeve inside the nut. The end of your tube should always stick out of the front of the nut and it should insert fully into the fitting where you're connecting it. Then you slide your nut up and tighten it to make a good airtight connection. When this connection is properly made, you should be able to pull on it without moving it. And that generally indicates that you've got a good airtight connection. The pod itself screws onto the back of the push button flange. It's threaded with a half inch thread and it just screws off. Has a diaphragm inside, a rubber diaphragm inside of it that the push button itself acts on to, to push. Now with pneumatic valves, when you push in on the button, nothing will happen until you release the button and create a vacuum at this port. Your vacuum is what operates the air operator on a pneumatic valve. The button, as you'll see, is, is shouldered so it can only be removed from the back side of the escutcheon. It, uh, it cannot be removed from the front of the fixture. The escutcheon is held on with a locking nut, which is just thick enough has enough space to fit the thickness of the backsplash in between and leave a little extra room. Of course the pod screws onto there. When screwing this pod onto the push button you'll notice there's a small gap between the plastic pod and the shoulder here on the push button. When you screw it on it's always advisable to screw it all the way on until the shoulders meet. That way you get the most effective actuation of the pod. Your button, the, uh, when you commence pushing your button, you will immediately start to push air out of the pod, and when you release it, you pull all that vacuum back in. Okay, I think that's, that should cover the pod. Uh, most important thing, of course, is your tube connection on the back end that must be airtight for this valve to operate properly.